What's up everybody? This is Asad with Cozy Rock and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to import a WSDL file using Cozy Rock REST Connection Manager. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So right now I'm on my desktop. I will go ahead and open my Visual Studio. Let's go ahead and type it in this search box. So it's going to look for the possible best match. So here is my Visual Studio. I'm going to go ahead and select this. Okay, so now I'm inside my Visual Studio. So let's go ahead and create a new project. It's going to ask me for the name. So I'm going to give it a name. Demo. Hit OK. Oh, I also, yeah, I already have a project with this name. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a name demo. So hit OK again. Right now, I'm in my control flow. And if you guys see in the bottom below, this is my connection manager panel. So before I go ahead and create a connection manager, I will just show you guys a WSDL file that I'm going to be using for this demo. So the file I'm going to be using is this file. And if you guys can see here, these are my fields definition and the type is double. Uh, let me grab my so so as you guys can see here the type is double uh these are my fields name and once we uh, went through the process you guys will have a better understanding of how it's going to create the fields and as well as the data type and if i go ahead and see my operations okay so i have an operation fan height to celsius and there are two operations so fahrenheit to celsius and also celsius to fahrenheit so if you guys can see here let me go ahead and i like them so you guys know what i'm talking about so fahrenheit to celsius and celsius to fahrenheit so uh, these are my operation <laughs> So let's go ahead. We are the connection manager. So I'm right here in my connection manager panel. I'm going to go ahead and right click, uh, go to new connection. And in this wizard, I'm going to go ahead and look for the rest. So here is my rest. I'm going to go ahead and hit add. Okay, so once we are here, since this is going to be a custom configuration, so I'm going to go ahead and click on this drop down list and hit the custom. So as soon as I selected the custom option, as you guys can see, a little wrench icon appear on the right side. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and hit this right, hit on this wrench icon. Okay, so I've got another wizard. So we have a bunch of options here. So, but we're gonna go with the uh, option number three, where it's saying start with importing a WSGL file. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this option, hit okay. So we got two options here. Uh, it is saying select a WSGL file or provide a URL from which it can be downloaded. So basically, uh, we can either choose a file from our local drive, or we can even provide a URL from where the file can be downloaded. So I have the file on my local machine. I'm gonna go ahead and hit browse. And this is my file, demcal, hit open, hit next again. So you guys can see these are my operations Celsius to Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit to Celsius. So here you have an option. If you want to select just one operation, you can select one or you can select a couple of them. But here I just have two operations. So I'm going to go ahead and select both of them. And 
go to him select it i'm gonna go ahead and hit next these are my data types if you guys see i showed you i'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you guys again So see, uh, my data types, uh, it should say type double. So see, these are my um, data types, double, double. And then when I go ahead, it did create it. It's reading from the uh, WSTL file and based on that is generating the right uh, type of right data type as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit next okay so we are almost there so let's go ahead and hit finish as you guys can see i got my two resources here and as also if you guys want to see the definitions for the endpoint here is the endpoint create action create which is the method is post and if i go ahead and see my fields definition I got my fields already defined here. So Celsius to Fahrenheit, Celsius to Fahrenheit response, request, response. So I'm all set here. It was like quite efficient and it's very useful. I mean, you can just grab your WSTL file and here you go. Everything is ready to go. I hope you like this video. If you have any question, please post your question in the comment section below. Also, like this video, subscribe to our channel and turn on all the notifications so you don't miss any upcoming video from Cozy Rock in future. See you.